Good morning, Kevin here. Sue's with me as well. Morning. We were trying to find something to do where we're not going to get wet. Well, it's raining in Hucknall and we are outside of Mary Magdalene Church in Hucknall. Um, we've just had a look inside. There are some people having some coffees and teas and things like that and we've spoken to a gentleman so we can o it's okay for us to go in and have a look round and, and try and bring some information to you. It's going to be a bit sparse, the information, because we didn't really plan this today. Um, we just wanted something where it was dry. So we're going to have a quick wander around the inside and then I might have a quick wander around the outside but trying to keep everything dry, which is going to be difficult. And Sue's just spotted a squirrel. But in this churchyard, let me just show you up to here, a huge amount of snowdrops. Um, but all the, all the headstones, or most of the headstones, have been moved to the outside wall. There's one particular one which we know is just down um, at the end of this footpath on the right hand side which is our great 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 grandparents three times great grandparents two times two times that's thomas and anne but the slate headstone is quite covered in leaves and ivy at the moment so, so we're going to head on inside and have a look at the inside of mary magdalene church so we've got this entrance porch here which is built of stone and timber lovely big old oak timbers just there Sue's going to open the door I'll try then we've got this other door here with a stone surround so let's go on in and have a look in here and the first thing we want to have a look at is just inside these railings and we've got a lovely old wooden chest here with different types of things, but this is famous for Byron because Byron lived at Newstead Abbey, so very sort of synonymous area for for Byron. And there's a statue there of Lord Byron, and it's a statue. by Nicolaes and I can't even pronounce that name so I'm not even going to try but he'd, he'd moved away and he lived in Greece for a long time but here we have some more information about Byron just so much of it you can't really appreciate the amount that there is about the church and bar and in particular for this area and here we have a sign there look Mary Magdalene church of the Hutton and then we've got some artifacts here in this cabinet Your dead shall live, their corpses shall rise. O oh, dwellers in the dust, awake and sing the joy. For your dew is radiant, dew and all earth will give birth to those long dead. Blimey. Got my shadow straight across the front of that stone there, which is not very good. Got another one there, look. And this is about Ada Lovelace. The only legitimate daughter of Byron. Yes, yeah, Susan said the only legit legitimate daughter of Byron. She's buried in the church. And she's buried in this church. And we will find that in a little while. Just above us, we've got lots of raindrops landing on some metal up there. It's making a bit of a 
a rattling sound above us. C.E. Camp, 1837 to 1907. And this is about some of the stained glass windows by the looks of it. 20 windows in the church. <coughs> 20 windows. Yeah, that's fascinating. Isn't it? Mm. Nothing like a nice stained glass window. And talking about stained glass windows, there's a rather lovely one there. So let's start having a wander around, I think, so shall we? Yeah, Ben Court, 1815, 1861, heavyweight champion of England. And Ben Court's Right, if he's actually in the churchyard. So I'm going to have a look for that when we get outside. Yeah, yeah, Ben. That was pretty brutal when you think about it. and his death mask. Some information there. We'll, we'll have one of those. Pass it on to Sue. <laughs> she's got she's collecting them all up. So let's have a let's now have a wander around. <coughs> and just here we've got the incumbents of Hutnell. Right, let's have a look through here. <clears throat> and we've got this other area here where we go through this large stone archway. <clears throat> and we've got more information here about Ada Lovelace. C.E. Kemp. And likewise here, Ben Court. Byron as well. Get a strange flickering from the lighting for some reason. I don't know why that is. I hope it doesn't affect the the video for people watching. And here we've got another archway going through a big door there. And then we've got, uh, we're in the, the north aisle at the moment with these lovely stained glass windows all around actually. It's rather beautiful.
several plaques on the walls. This one's Eric Morley. So let's carry on down this way. And we're heading towards the, the font, which is just here. And a very old fashioned Henry Hoover look. <laughs> So we've got the Lady Chapel in front of us now. And we've got the banner of St Mary Magdalene of Hucknall. And on the, the partition, the wooden partition, we've got these different bits here. The Sherwood Foresters, which is the regiment my father was in. And it all gives the dates of when people were killed, the men were killed, and where in France. That's rather lovely, a lovely tribute to the men that fought and died for the country. And I think there's some more on this side as well. William A. Breckner died in France from wounds June 15th, 1918. That's lovely. <coughs> I've never seen a tribute like that, to be honest where all the, the men from the from Putnell or any, any area that are commemorated like that. And this is a rather lovely uh, memorial to them all here. Their names liveth forevermore, it says there. It says 1914-19, because we've got to remember that some some put the 1919 date because of men still being brought back from the front, um, from well, either dead or wounded. And there's a lot of names on here actually. It just shows you a commitment the men had, very brave to join up and and go and fight for the country. Rather lovely altar here in the ladies' chapel. And if we go through here to the main chancel, to the main altar, all wood panelling all the way round and rather lovely panelling at the back there. And we've got a piscina over in the corner. And again, lovely stained glass windows. The main one at the east end is just beautiful. Very high ceilings. Turn round and head that way. And there's a plaque there that says, In the fort beneath where many of his ancestors and his mother are buried lie the remains of George Gordon Nile but Byron, Lord Byron of Brochstow in the county of Lancashire, the author of the Child Harold's Pilgrimage. He was born in London on the 22nd of January, 1788. He died of, at, do, at I can't pronounce that, it's in Western Greece, uh, on the 19th of April, 1824, engaged in the glorious attempt to restore that country to her an, ancient freedom and renown. His sister, the Honourable, Augusta Mary Lee placed this tablet to his memory and just here there's another plaque 
in the bar and vault below. Lie remains of Augusta Ada only. Daughter of George Gordon Dial of the sixth Lord Byron and wife of William Earl of Lovelace. Born the 10th of December 1815, died the 27th of November 1852. And just below that, in memory of the Honourable Richard Noel Byron, who died in an air crash in West Africa the 22nd of February 1985, aged 37 years. And just here, I won't read that, I'll just put that on. Shadows all over it, I'm sorry about that. thing I should mention about this if I can get a clear shot without my shadow in it too much and the reflections this is um, supposed to be the, um, the, the it's porcelain and it was on top of Byron's grave on top of his coffin sorry um, when the coffin was brought back from Greece yeah. um, and um, and they've they've put it in this as a memorial to that um, so there's, there's so much information and history about Byron with a connection of Byron and uh, uh, the locality yes yeah, Sue was just saying that his heart is supposed to be in the tomb below um, but we don't know whether that's true or not but that is what is suggested And of course, everything in this is the history of Byron, because Newstead Abbey is not that far from here, which is where he lived for a, for, for a period of time. But all these plaques, as I say, just around us here are all to do with Byron. Um, and there's, there's one right at the top there, which is supposed to be him. It's like a carving of him. So as I'm looking back down from the east end of the church towards the west end, and you can see the beautiful timber work that's up in the roof space, and it's an extremely high roof with cross timbers and that supporting. But you can see the different arches that uh, are in between the North Island, and South Island and the main um, nave. As the coffin with his body and urns containing Byron's heart and other organs were carried down the steps into the vault. Into the vault? Well, I wonder where the steps are. I haven't seen any steps yet, unless they're around the corner. But we've got a large group of people around the corner having teas and coffees, and we don't want to disturb them. Um, the entrance to the vault itself is under the floor near the pulpit and the floral tribute has been placed over a section of the exposed roof of the vault. Oh right, so it's, it's, it's around here. The pulpit's just there in the corner, so the, ste the steps down to it have got to be somewhere close by. Um, but yeah, it's, we've got a plaque here, Byron Bourne. January the 22nd, 1788, died April the 19th, 1824. And as you can see, this is a lovely area here with these beautiful white and grey and green um, tiles that go all the way up here. And just in front of the altar, you've got marble steps going up to the main altar area. And it's all rather lovely. And of course, we, from, with Sue and I, with our family connections to Hucknall, um, 
our, our parents would have been worshipping in this church at, at some point um, right back to our great great grandparents Thomas and Anne yep. and then great grandfather Charles and Sarah and then our, our, fam- our parents as well so we'll just have a little bit of a wander around just in front of us we've got this font and it looks like it's mum carved out of three bits of stone and the font is 14th century Sue's just told me you can see the inside it's got a rather lovely bowl and the original bowl I would have guessed is probably lead I don't know but we've got a couple of holes here in the side where it's perhaps being used for carrying, I don't know. But 14th century, that's fantastic to find that. Just above us we've got the banners. And the, the first one here is the Royal Air Corps Hucknall Association. And then we've got that one there which is the Hucknall Branch. And then we've got the Union flag and that was going to Hutnell Air Forces Hutnell Branch Association but I'm absolutely fascinated with the amount of arches in this church from this one above us we got what um, four of uh, yeah, four on this north aisle and four on the south aisle. And then you've got the huge one going into this section over there where the ladies are. And, 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 and one just even as, as, as big um, going into the, into the chancel. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. A medieval coffin lid, Sue has just said this one is. Excellent. We're going to do a quick walk around the outside. It's now raining quite hard. Um, and we're going to try and find the grave of Ben Court. Um, oh gosh, we've got to walk all over this mud. This could be... This could be a disaster. I, think, I don't think Sue's going to venture down here. And we've got the, the typical Norman square tower with the clock faces there. And we've got these different tombs all the way around. Some rather, rather large tombs actually. There's a double tomb there. But just down here, the church is predominantly built of stone. Here we have another side to the tower. We have some rather large looking gargoyles right at the top. And we've got here just a blocked up doorway. We've still got the stone surround there where the door used to be. We've got some rather large buttresses as well on this church. A triple tomb here coming down but just here in front of me as I try not to slip over this is the grave of Ben Court or Benjamin Court. I'll try and get in there show you what it says here if you can read that very difficult it's uh, Ben Cont champion of England 1841 to 1845 
some of it's fairly clear. And then we've got so it's plaque, it's got plaques all the way around it, all of slate. And I'm getting very wet. But one thing I wanted to just show you before we Sue and I finish, and that is the the headstone which is to our great grandparents, great great grandparents which is just up here in the corner on the entrance to the churchyard unfortunately you can't really see it but this is it and at one point it would have been a magnificent um, piece of stonework because this is the plinth here the slate goes there there's a bit of a break in it but this is the headstone to our great great grandparents Thomas and Anne Hall so Sue and I finished here at Mary Magdalene Church in Hucknall and I think we're going to go and try and find something to hot to drink Good idea. Yeah. So this will be Kevin and Sue saying bye bye, and we'll see you on the next one. And thanks very much. Bye bye. 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 Thanks very much for watching today's video. And if you've liked what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel because that is very important for us and give us a like on the videos leave comments that'd be great because you know all these algorithms as they call it do help the uh, the channel to grow so it, that'd be great if you could i really appreciate it anyway this will be kevin and i'll see you on the next one bye bye bye